Uh, this is quite shocking. His staff have been used like a punch bag. Uh, and the owner of two popular holiday parks in Cornwall have banned more holiday makers this year than in the 25 years of being in business. And he's been forced to pay back more than £700,000 in COVID refunds. But it's not all bad news. Patrick Langmaid from Mother's Ivy Bay near Padstow has just won the David Bellamy Award for Nature. And he's set to give more than 150 free holidays to care workers and NHS staff. And he's on the line. Patrick, good afternoon to you. Um, can we start with the negative? Get that out the way first. Can you explain to me exactly, you talk about abuse of your staff. What are we talking about here? Well, I actually lost one of my receptionists in June. Um, uh, a lovely uh, young woman working for me. And um, she couldn't actually cope with the um, anger and aggression that was coming with virtually every phone call. I mean, I, I understand that there was a lot of fear and anxiety um, amongst everyone, uh, the whole the whole population back in April, May, um, when we were watching as we were all in lockdown. Yeah. And actually, she, she, she really struggled. Well, the team really struggled. With, Can you explain um, to me why then? How abusive were some of these customers? Well, I can't repeat what was being said. Um, but uh, the ones that we ended up blocking um, from future bookings and banning from the park will have been people who actually went beyond what's a reasonable expression of your frustration. Um, so they will have been effing and blinding oh, at, yes. at the team and they will just have lost their rag and um, forgotten that the person they're talking to might be distanced by a phone call but they are still a human being and um, it's not a very um, pleasant way to treat um, another human being. And actually, the person they're abusing is a member of my staff. So I've actually got responsibilities towards them and uh, I couldn't uh, uh, ignore these um, things as they were arising. But yeah. we, we did actually have one of the team uh, effectively melt and um, uh, leave us, which was very sad. She couldn't, she just couldn't cope with it. Um and um, yeah, we've we've actually blocked and banned more more people. I've done it more people this summer than I have in the twenty. It's twenty four years that I've been running Mother Ivy's, and and in that period, um, I think I'm up to about eighty this year, and I haven't done that in the last twenty four years. Unbelievable. And was this frustration and anger and effing and jeffing because of? And I mentioned here you had to pay back uh, more than seven hundred thousand pound in COVID refunds. If they got the refunds, why were they getting angry? Well, the people who got the refunds weren't um, uh, uh, angry, of course. It's it's the people who um, were wanting refunds and wanting them immediately. And we were having to explain that actually everybody wanted a refund and we simply couldn't. We could agree that the refund had to be paid, but we couldn't agree when it would have to be paid. Um, back in April and May, Lawrence, I was worried uh, for the survival of my own business. Um, it's easy to look back now and think um, uh, uh, we've, you know, we have survived and we were always going to, but actually we feared for our survival back in April, May and early June, and it wasn't clear we were going to survive and we were not able to agree when we would be paying out refunds. And, and was that, was that the were reason? Very upset about that. I was going to say that was the reason that they had a go at you because they expected immediate reimbursement, did they? Yeah, absolutely. And um, if not immediate, they were expecting it to be able to be, be told. I see. I don't like making promises I can't keep. So if you're in April telling me you want you want a refund and I, I, I've got zero income and I just don't know and I can when I'm going to have income coming in and I can see my money being eaten up and I need to pay my key suppliers and I need to pay my wages because we didn't furlough. Uh, many of our staff, we kept a lot of them working to keep the park, you know. The so, without, so if you hadn't have held on to the refunds, you would have been put out of business effectively? We would have been uh, sailing very close to the wind. I wouldn't like to say we would have gone out of business, um, I, but I might well have had to have gone to my shareholders and, and, and asked them to uh, uh, inject some more capital. Into do, do you think what, you know, the, the lessons learned here, a lot of people are talking about lessons learned through COVID. We don't know if there's going to be a second spike. We don't know if next season's holiday season is going to be back to normal. But do you think you're going to lose business as a result of COVID this year? 
Uh, we've definitely lost business. You can't um, uh, open in July um, and expect to do as well as you would have done if you had opened and you had managed to capture spring and early summer. So that's been lost forever. But what about um, business next year? Will people be less likely to come down next year because of COVID? No, I think um, our advanced bookings for next year, Lawrence, are looking very strong at Mother Ivy's. Um, we are, we are, our advanced bookings are well ahead of where they were this time last okay. year. I think that um, uh, Cornwall is going to be uh, very busy next year. And my, my advice to anybody considering a domestic holiday would be to get in quick and book wherever sure. you want to go. Okay, Patrick Langmaid is on BBC Radio.